On today's Maker Mashup, monitoring your 3D printer on your cell phone from anywhere with an internet connection. So you might be saying to yourself, hey, there's an app for that. We've already got a cell phone app that you can stream your 3D printer and see what's going on with it. Well, today we're gonna to do it a little bit differently. We're actually gonna be streaming your 3D printer over to Twitch, where you can actually share that with your friends or your family, and you can monitor it in high definition, what most of these apps won't be able to do. So let's get to work. We're gonna need a few pieces of software for this project, and the first is gonna be Octoprint. So if you're not using Octoprint, I suggest setting that up and using it for your 3D printer controls. It's a pretty good piece of software, and one of the main features is that it does support multiple webcams. The next piece of software you're going to need is Open Broadcaster Software. This is free software, and it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And I've included a link for that in the description to download. You're going to want to download and install this before going on with the next steps. So now that we have the software downloaded, the next part is to just simply log into Twitch and create an account. So now that we have OBS installed, we're gonna to need to go to twitch.com and sign up for a new account. Just enter your username and password. And once you've got that done, you're gonna to have to enter your date of birth. And Twitch is a service that requires you to be 13 years of age or older to use. So that's important. And then once you enter your email address, you're gonna go ahead and receive a confirmation email from Twitch and they are going to send you a verification code. So you need to make sure that you have a valid email address to set this up. And once you've got your verification code in, that is all there is to it. The next step is to go to the top right corner and go to the creator dashboard. Inside the creator dashboard, you're going to want to go down to settings on the left and select channel. Once you're on the channel tab, you're going to want to go up to your stream key and copy this to your clipboard. And you're going to want to keep it private as anyone can then stream to your account. Now that we have that key in the clipboard, the next step is to get this into OBS. Go to file, then go to settings. Once the settings are up, you're going to want to click stream on the far left. And then once you click on stream, we're going to go up here and make sure it's set for Twitch. And then we're going to enter our stream key. Just click the stream key there. And then you're going to want to paste in that key that you got from Twitch directly and then simply save. Now that we've got that all set up, the next part is to create a scene. You're going to, want to click add down in the bottom left corner, just a little plus sign there. And you're going to want to give it a name for your scene. I chose to use 3D printer here. You can name it anything you want. We need Octoprint for our next step. Once you're in Octoprint, you're going to want to go to your settings menu. And that is the little wrench there. Just click on settings. Once you're in settings, then you're going to want to go to your webcam page. And it's just the webcam and time lapse. And then this is the stream URL that Octoprint is sending your webcam to. This is what we're going to put into OBS. You can copy that, or if it's only got a partial link, you can click the test button. And then you can right click on the actual image and select copy image address. Now that we have this, we're just going to go into OBS and create a video source. So click the plus sign and create a browser. And this is actually just going to go out and read that webcam address of Octoprint. So you're just going to want to enter a name for your webcam. If you have multiple webcams, this is a good spot to put in the name of the actual cam. So default cam or your nozzle cam if you've installed an endoscope. 
And then you're just going to paste in here the actual Octoprint address. And then you're going to change this resolution generally to 1280 by 720 or whatever you've currently got your webcam configured for. Once you're done with this, click OK. And you should see your webcam. Now that you have this, you're going to want to zoom this up. So just right click, do a transform and fit the screen. And there you have it. If you want to add multiple cameras, now's a good time to do that. You can just repeat the process of adding another browser for your individual webcams. Since I use multiple webcams, we're going to do that right now. So we're going to go back to Octoprint and we're going to click on the settings again. And this time I'm going to go down to multicam, which is down at the bottom. And I'm going to get my nozzle camera and I'm going to add that nozzle camera now the same way I added the other camera. So we're going to copy this URL right here, and then we're going to take that back and paste that into OBS. So we're just going to do the same process we did before. We're going to click the plus sign. We're going to add a browser source. Then we're going to go in here and we're going to give this our name of our camera, which in this case is going to be our nozzle cam. So I'm just going to type nozzle here. And then the next step here is to go in and change those same settings, paste in your URL. And then you're going to also want to change the width and height of the webcam uh, or of the browser window here to match what you have for your webcam. Usually it'll be 1280 by 720. And you're just going to click OK. And you can see here that that nozzle is now showing up. So my nozzle cam is visible. And the next step now is to just resize this. And we're going to put this over the right side of the screen so we can see the whole print bed. And that is it. There are a lot of different features of OBS and there's a lot of other resources online that you can see uh, ways to configure this. So you can actually add text or other images and other browser sources. So once you're done, you just click start streaming. And once you click that, you will see down here in the bottom, it will first ask you if you want to start the stream. And then down in the bottom right, you should get a green square once your stream is established. And once that stream is up and running, then all you have to do is go to your channel on Twitch. And then just go to live. And there it is. You will have your live web stream available for you and your friends. So if you have any questions related to this, just hop into our Discord channel and ask your questions. There's other makers there to talk about the project that you're working on and other projects and links for Discord are in the description. Hey, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to mash that like button and also visit our website, makermashup.com. And don't forget to also follow us on Twitter, Makers Mashup. All the links for that are down there in the description. So thanks again for watching this video and we'll see you next time.